talk about a showdown now that could totally throw the global economy into chaos here. And it may be coming sooner than expected because Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen today is sounding the alarm. She's saying the U.S. could hit its debt limit by Thursday. Here is what that means. Here's why this matters. It would mean that the government couldn't actually issue debt anymore. They'd basically run out of cash for programs that exist. Social Security, federal salaries like the military, veterans benefits. This would also really throw a wrench into global markets. It could send interest rates even higher. So Yellen is telling the House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy here, that the Treasury will have to take what she describes as extraordinary measures to avoid a default. And the White House says, hey, raising the limit isn't up for debate. We will not be, uh, be doing any negotiation over the debt ceiling. It's not and should not be a political football. Garrett Hake is joining us now. So, Garrett, I get that Corinne Jean-Pierre says it should not be a political football. It is probably going to end up being a political football, right? The potential for the first big showdown between the House led by Republicans and the president. Yeah, absolutely, Hallie. This is going to be a huge battle in the first half of the year because everyone's staking out positions here that are untenable. The House says they will not, or excuse me, the White House says they will not negotiate at all. House Republicans say, oh, sure, we'll negotiate, but you're going to have to cut spending in a major way. And Senate Democrats are like, we got to just get this thing moving here. We got to start working to pass something. And so I think what you're going to see is probably the Senate begin to start working on passing a clean debt ceiling lift here sometime in the next couple of weeks when they come back into town and try to align with the White House, jam House Republicans into accepting something here or risk being blamed for all the bad stuff that you said would happen if we hit the debt ceiling. So remember, not the same thing as a government shutdown here, but massive, massive financial implications here that we have never seen because we have never gone over that debt ceiling cliff. Uh, but House Republicans, including in that big fight to make Kevin McCarthy speaker, kind of rallied around the idea that they are ready to have this fight to cut spending right now. Talk about the consequences here, because can I just be real? Like, normal people who don't live and cover Washington every day hear debt limit, and you're like, nope, nope, th no, thank you. I'm going to go change. Do something. This matters because there are like real consequences here that matter for like, if you like money, y you will care about this. Yeah, I mean, massive global recession. How's that for putting it in plain English here, right? I mean, the dollar is the reserve currency of the whole world, and it might not be if we go above the debt ceiling. That means U.S.'s credit limit gets downgraded. It's like if your credit limit were so bad you couldn't get a credit card. If, the problem is your credit card has $31 trillion on it, and that's how you fund everything we do in this country. I mean, the idea that the U.S.'s full faith and credit wasn't honored and that we couldn't meet our obligations Obligations. I mean, if you want to extend this metaphor of kind of how this all works, the U.S. doesn't pay for anything in cash. We put it all mm. on that credit card. And if the credit card gets pulled, we're in big trouble. I mean, that's the simplest way I can describe the challenge we would have if the what you see on your screen now are the measures that buy the Treasury Department time, maybe until June or so, to let these negotiations play out. If those measures are exhausted, we go above that limit. Uh, big trouble. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.